It's all been defatted and it's ready to go and we're going to wash our hide. This hide might be cleaner than necessary for washing, but we'll, we'll go through the washing process. So we take a bucket, five gallon bucket, and what we do is we just flip on the cold water. Do not use hot water in this process, just use cold water. And we're only going to fill it up about a third of the way. And we're going to use this wonderful palm olive dishwashing soap. And you're only going to use a little bit, a drop, all right? A few drops. So a little bit. You don't want to get all kinds of soap into the hide. The soap is going to remove any fat, especially, or blood stains. So, and then once this is about a fourth of the way full of cold water, we go ahead and we put the hide in there. And then we stop this. And what do we do is just sit down on a chair and you can submerse your hide a little bit, get it into the water, but then you're going to be a human washing machine. All right? If you know the hide's stained with blood, or if you know that in defatting a duck you have fat all around the incision and the feathers in the opening, you can work those feathers through your soapy water. Otherwise, um, we just start like this, and by swishing it around, and I can I can bring in a couple uh, lids if you're if you don't want water all over yourself. Otherwise, you kind of get a shower in the process. So once you put your bird hide into water and the bird hide gets wet, you some of you don't like to touch these things, and you reach in and grab the easiest thing, like you grab it by the beak, grab it by the foot, grab it by the wing. Don't do that. It's got so much weight in the water that it's going to tear the hide. So make sure. If you do pick up the hide, that you pick it up from underneath and you pick up the entire hide when you pick that up. So, and this whole process of washing on a really dirty, greasy, blood-stained bird will take, you got to plan for a half an hour. Um, you don't want to try to just get it done too quickly. And what you'll see, the water comes out a little cloudy. Um, and the dirtier the hide is, the cloudier the water. If it's bloody, It'll be bloody, but we've got our first wash done. What we're going to do is take this out, take the hide out, carefully set it in the sink, pour the water out, and then go ahead and... If you're doing a duck, you're probably going to do a minimum of three washes. On this bird, we can probably get by with one or two. Um, probably could have got by with one wash. The water didn't look really dirty. There weren't a lot of stains on the bird. But I'll go ahead and do a second one. So again, only fill it up about a fourth of the way. Put the hide in. Use cold water and just a few drops of our dishwashing liquid. Um, got a few more studs this time. Try to get this really nice and clean. And then any areas where I know it's blood stained. Make sure I look at those, and I can just use my hands or fingers to go through those feathers and make sure the blood stains are out of those feathers. So you can you can kind of hand wash them places that you know are have stains on them. Uh, you're trying to get feathers clean. If you got blood stains on white feathers, check those feathers in the wash and make sure that you're washing them clean. If you had any blood that dried on the bird, it was a uh, harvested uh, from hunting and you got blood stains that dried on the bird, you're going to need to make sure that that stuff gets um, wet enough and maybe use a blunt probe or something to pull those feathers apart a little bit so that they can actually get washed off. Otherwise, it'll come out with the same blood stains it had when you started. So, all right. The second time through, the, the water still looks like dirty dishwater a little bit. Um, And again, I said if you were doing a duck and something that was really stained bad, a minimum of three washes until you're kind of convinced that the hide that you're using, the hide that you're washing is clean. Then you don't add any soap when you're doing the rinse cycle. So it's just clean water, clean cold water. Put the hide in. And rinsing your ducks that are really dirty or stained is probably going to take at least three times, maybe up to five. How do you know when you're done rinsing? The water is what? Clear. And so, again, only use cold water. 
your rinse water goes in clear, starts out looking nice and clear. If after you rinse it, and with clear water it's easier to check your hide and see whether you've got any stains on it. After you rinse it, if your water is still clear, then you're done. So, how's the water look? Still looks clear? Okay, so, alright. So then, if the water's still clear, you're looking at clear water, then then you're finished with the washing job. Now, what I need to do at this point, I've got a bird that I just cleaned fat and blood stains out of the feathers. And so I don't want to squeeze it or wring it out like I would a rag, because I'll squeeze some of that fat from the inside of the hide into the feathers. But I need to get as much of this off water off the bird as possible. And if you have a bigger bird, there could be quite a bit. So one thing I will do carefully from the outside of the bird is I'll just gently squeeze some of the feathers. I won't reach inside and squeeze the feathers against the inside of the hide. And you can see the bald spots I was talking about. The feathers run in tracks, so they're not covering the entire bird. All those bald spots are naturally there. When you take your bird out, it looks like a wet rat. It looks like it's lost feathers, but it hasn't. All right, and I need to get as much water just kind of wrung out of there without wringing the hide against the inside of the hide at all and just get rid of some of that water. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to take some paper toweling that can get all, can get some fat and some of the things that are inside the hide on it. Take some paper toweling and just kind of wad it up like an artificial body and tuck it inside this hide. And then I'm going to take this whole hide that I want to get dry and I'll set it out on a table or a flat surface and I'll take a towel. And our towels shouldn't be used for blood or guts. All they're used for is drying hides. And so I'll take a towel like this. I'll carefully lay the hide out because I don't want to take my clean hide and get it dirty with whatever's on the inside of my hide. So I'll take that and I'll just blot it dry. And we'll have towels available for you to blot your hides dry. We need to get quite a bit of the water out of it because it's going to go in a tumbler. And it can't go in the tumbler until it's dry and it can't go in the tumbler unless I put it in there so that when I put it in the tumbler it's dry and we know it's dry. Otherwise it's like pouring water in our tumbler. And once the, once the corn cobs have absorbed water, they won't dry any more birds. So once you have it dry like this, then we are ready. You're ready to give it to me and put it in the tumbler. If I can't squeeze any more water out of the feathers of your bird, it's plenty dry and I'll put it in the tumbler for you.